I often think about how we got along before modern inventions. Air conditioning comes to mind, but that's not very relevant for today. But take the snowblower, for instance. Snowblowers are a relatively recent invention, especially considering how long snow has been around. It was 1894 when Arthur Sicard, the son of a Canadian dairy farmer, tried to figure out a way to make milk deliveries easier in winter. He'd seen a grain thresher at work in a wheat field, and he wondered if a similar device could be used to clear snow. Sicard worked on this device for more than 30 years, and in 1925, he completed his first machine and called it the Sicard Snow Remover Snowblower. What it lacked, lacked in a catchy title, it made up for in power. The Sicard Snowblower featured a scooper with an auger-like device and a fan capable of blowing snow about 90 feet. He sold the design to the city of Montreal, which later named a street after him in his honor. The story points out a number of things. One, you have to hand it to the Canadians. Two, the phrase is certainly true. Necessity is the mother of invention. And three, Sicard worked on his invention for 30 years. It makes you wonder whether ingenuity or perseverance was his greatest trait. I'm not sure I'd have that kind of patience or perseverance. I might have given up and simply moved south to avoid the snow by that time. But it's a good reminder that behind every human accomplishment is virtue. Not all of us can aspire to be inventors, but all of us can aspire to becoming virtuous, patience and perseverance among them. Plato identified four cardinal virtues. Fortitude was one of them which means strength of mind and courage in the face of adversity. If practice makes perfect, then we're getting a lot of opportunities to perfect the virtue of fortitude. While Plato listed prudence, justice, fortitude, and temperance among the cardinal virtues, the Christian faith adds three, faith, hope, and charity. I'm thinking if we hold those ideals in high regard and aspire to a virtuous life, will experience a satisfaction even greater than what Arthur Sicard must have experienced when he first saw that plume of snow arc high over the streets of Montreal, 30 years after his first attempt. If at first you don't succeed, try and try again. Because one thing's for sure, life will send more snow. You could either move it or you could wait for it to melt. We'll see you next time.